accounting for partnership firm and in this module we will discuss the profit distribution statement okay so please be attentive on this practice question that how we work out profit distribution thing for the partners so here we assume that there are three partners x y and z they set up a partnership firm on 1st of january x9 they contributed 150000 120000 and 90000 respectively as their capital and they decided to share profit and loss in the ratio of 3 to 1 okay so all these information are important to keep in your mind rather you should underline all these things the net amount of profit as per income statement for the year 2000x9 the same year for which we are going to work out this profit distribution thing is 106980 the partnership deed provides that x is to be paid a salary of 3000 per month okay it is per month salary and why 15000 per annum so this type of issues may arise in your examination question that one figure is given in months and the second amount is given per annum so be attentive while reading the question otherwise you will do mistake in the examination so it also provides that interest on capital be allowed at six percent per annum the drawings and interest on drawings for the year were as follows so here we go the amount of drawing is 40 thousand 20 thousand 10 thousand and the interest on drawing is given h 10 540 and 270 so we have to prepare profit distribution statement with this information so this is the format of profit distribution statement in which we have this total column where we will place this total amount of net profit just have a look here total amount of net profit 106980 is being put over there then interest on drawing okay what we have already discussed that first we will add interest on drawing and then we will distribute the profits okay so interest on drawing figure is given over here 8 10 5 40 2 70 this will be added in the profit but it will be subtracted from each partner's column for working purposes okay then comes their salary x is getting 3000 per month means 36000 in one year and y is getting 15000 in one year so z is not getting any salary total amount of salary will be 51000 so in fact this is a base of distributing this profit so we are distributing profit among the partners on these bases okay so 106000 and 1620 will be distributed equal to 51000 to x and y only because z was not working partner therefore he will not get any profit based on salary well the next thing is different partners is having are having different amount of capital contribution in the business the interest on capital will be the base for distributing this much amount of profit 21600 so this is how we work out their individual share in profit based on interest on capital okay then the remaining balance of 36000 will be divided among the partners in their profit sharing ratio and we know very well that profit sharing ratio is determined based on their experiences and business contacts okay well so this 3 to 1 means 3 by 6 2 by 6 1 by 6 of this 36000 which is the remaining profit so that the balancing figure would be zero so altogether this profit has been distributed among the partners on these three bases okay and this is the total amount of the profit distributed among the partners so what we do we work out partners current account simply place this distributed profit in the credit side of the partners current account and the amount of drawing 40000 20000 10000 post it in the debit side of the partners current account because this was the amount that partners were entitled to 
withdraw from the business. But X has drawn 40,000, Y has drawn 20,000, Z has drawn 10,000. So the remaining balance, which is representing credit balance, is available in their current account. This much amount they can draw in the next year. Okay. So it is an abridged form. If you see, this is again placed over there. This is an abridged form of preparing partners current account. The detailed form is that place salary, interest and profit in the credit side and drawings and interest on drawings in the debit side. The end result would remain same. So all this information we will pick up from here, from the profit distribution statement, partner salary, partner's interest on capital, and partner's profit sharing ratio based figure. We will place it over here in the credit side. Interest on drawings will be placed over here along with the drawings in the debit side and the balancing figure would remain same. Okay. So this is how we prepare partner's current account. Either we will be preparing averaged or detailed one. And when we say partner's capital account, so capital account will give us the balances contributed in the business as capital. 150,000, 120,000 and 190,000. So it will give us closing balance of 150, 120, 190. Remember drawings are debited in the current account. These are not debited in the capital account. This is important that you have to remember okay so in this module something very important to remember as a tip is that there are three reasons based on distribute profit among the partners and these are the amount of capital contributed the performance of services and their experience so three reasons we distribute profit among the partners and work out in profit distribution statement which is also known as profit and loss appropriation account so please take all these things logical okay don't take it something difficult to learn this is all logical that we have a profit that needs to be distributed among the partners based on some basis and that's it okay thank you